A 1031 exchange allows you to exchange one real property for another and defer the taxable gains until a future sale when a taxable event is created. This is a powerful tool that allows real estate investors to continuously grow or move their real estate without paying capital gains tax. I'm Tim Hamilton with StellarQuest Real Estate, and in this video, we're going to be giving you a basic overview of 1031 exchanges. The information in this video should not be used in place of professional advice in any given situation. We always recommend that you seek the advice of a professional before entering into any 1031 exchange. We'll start with some tax considerations that you should think about before deciding to do a 1031 exchange. First, the basis of the new property will be reduced by the amount of gain that was deferred. Second, the capital gains tax is deferred until a future event and is generally not avoided. And lastly, it may actually be better to sell the property, pay the tax, reinvest the proceeds and have a higher tax basis for depreciation as opposed to using a 1031 exchange. The first criteria that must be met is that the exchange is to be of like kind real property. Both parcels must be US real property used in a trade or business, held for investment or for production or income. This means you cannot exchange your primary residence. It is also important to note that the taxpayer must intend to use the property for business, trade, or investment at the time of the exchange. There's no clear guidance on how long the property must be used for productive purposes before the owner could move into it and use it as a personal residence. In some cases, courts have denied the tax deferral for taxpayers who move into the Uplake property immediately or after a short period of time. There are also certain time frames that must be met if the properties are not exchanged simultaneously. After disposing of the Downlake property, the Uplake property must be identified within 45 calendar days. You must also acquire the upleg property at the earliest of either 180 days after the downleg property was transferred or the due date of the tax return for the year in which the downleg property was transferred. This requires a little bit of coordination, so I recommend speaking with a professional in order to figure out how you should time this entire transaction. In order to completely defer all taxable gains, the fair market value of the uplake property must be greater than or equal to the fair market value of the downlake property. In addition, the equity you receive in the uplake property must also be greater than or equal to the equity given up in the downlake property to avoid any taxable boot. Boot is any cash or property received that does not qualify for a Section 1031 non-recognition of gain. If you receive any boot in the transaction, it will be taxed at its fair market value. When you're doing a 1031 exchange, you should be working with an accommodator, which is also sometimes referred to as a qualified intermediary. This is the person or corporation who helps you facilitate the transaction. They typically might be involved in helping you transfer title, and they also hold the funds to ensure the transaction remains an exchange and doesn't become a sale and reinvestment, which would trigger a taxable event. The accommodator should be a party to escrow and possibly a party to the acquisition agreement too. That wraps up our basic overview of 1031 exchanges. Please keep in mind there are a lot of details involved in these transactions that we aren't able to cover in this video. If you're thinking about doing a 1031 exchange, we highly recommend speaking to a qualified professional before you do so. We can help you sell and buy the properties if you're thinking about exchanging residential homes in Southern California, but we cannot advise you to the tax implications of those transactions. If you want to learn more about 1031 exchanges, please let us know. We have a really great article written by the attorneys at the California Association of Realtors that we're more than happy to send to you.